Robson. I'm the founder of Roots and Branches Limited. And um, this week I'm taking part in Nicola Cairn Cross's um, 30 day challenge to be everywhere online. Um, my videos um, are all going to be about export challenges. Um, they're targeted at first time exporters or businesses that are beginning to export and want to really make the most of a global strategy. Um, so I'm going to give you um, a series of 12 videos with 12 tips about different aspects of exporting overseas. It's possible for me to give you a pre precise indication of freight forward costs, but I can give you an outline of some of the determinants of freight costs. They are mode of transport, i.e. air freight can be significantly more expensive than transit by road, rail or ship. Distance and destination, the further your goods have to travel, the more usual the destination, the higher the costs are likely to be, particularly due to rising fuel costs. Weight and volume also affects charges. Some charges are, are based on the weight of goods, but calculation switches to volume above a certain threshold. For example, one cubic meter per tonne for shipping, three for road and six for air. Value. In some instances, certain products are calculated based on the value of the goods per tonne. The type of contract you have with a freight forwarder also determines the costs. Some charge per shipments and some will agree an annual service contract with you. You can weigh up the cost and benefits of each type 